everybody. I am with the offensive lineman of Shawnee High School. Woo! Cheer for yourselves. Yes, well, the offensive linemen do an amazing job for the Shawnee High School football team. And I did not know this, but they just are an incremental part of this team and why we are going to playoffs. Yes, it is such a privilege to be here with these gentlemen today. So we are going to start off with Kendall right here. And so Kendall, as what has been the biggest obstacle for you this season so far? I don't know. Uh, coming to center this year was hard. I had tried before and that didn't work out really well. And coming in this year, spring ball, it's just been a lot to learn and a lot to do. Yes, and a lot of training, I'm assuming, right? Oh, for sure. <laughs> yes, so these guys have all different walks of life. So we have Caden here, on, who is a part of the offensive lineman. And Caden, you went to Jinx High School, transferred to Meeker, and now you are, what grade are you here in Shawnee? I'm a junior right now. So you've been to three schools in three years. So why Shawnee? Shawnee just st stood out to me when I came here for Summer Pride. Just all the hardworking kids and the coaches are just, just wanting everyone to work hard, and it was just a great place to be. Yes, yes, and so what have you learned so far? What's the difference between the Wolves, the pride of the pack, versus your other teams? And not a negative difference, but just difference. Um, Just working with different teammates and new people and just helping me just be a better player and better person every day in life. Oh, I love that. That's what it's like to have a team, and that's so amazing. Thank you so much, Caden. Yes, okay, we are over here with Rosario. Woo -woo. <laughs> so, Rosario, what coach has inspired you the most this season? Probably Coach Harrison. I like that. Why? Well, his his wife taught me in elementary school, so he's kind of known me for a minute. He knows what I'm capable of, so he always pushes me, talks me up whenever I'm down, gives me advice during practice stuff if I'm, like, not doing that great or, like, struggling. Yes, yeah, so what kind of encouragement does he use? Um, He just brings me up, tells me what I do, takes me off the field for a sec, shows me if, like, because uh, I'm a very, like, visual learner, so, like, he can, like, show me through the steps and stuff. I appreciate that so much, and that's so good to have a coach really know you and see you and be able to take that time with you. Do you all agree that that's something the coaches contribute? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay, so, Ethan, I'm so curious. What does it mean to you to be a part of the Wolf? So, T-H-E. And what does T-H-E stand for? T-H-E stands for Toughness, Honor, and Effort. And I feel really honored to be in this program. I really feel like we're going to start something big here. I love that. And, Ethan, what grade are you in? Uh, I'm a sophomore. You're a sophomore. So you have a few more years ahead of you. So what are you looking forward to, Ethan? Uh, hopefully deep playoff runs in the future. I like that. I like that. So we are going to skip you, Kendall. Sorry. <laughs> and we are going to go straight to Chuffy. So, Chuffy, what is one of the biggest accomplishments you've had this season? Really making the playoffs and going all, all the way would be my dream. But we have to come over a tough Dell City team to beat. And coming off an ACL tear, it was really challenging. So what grade are you in, Chuffy? I'm a sophomore. Wow, so this is a pretty young group. We have all different ages and grades. And so you said you just came off of an ACL tear. How recent was that? Uh, probably like over a year ago now. Yeah, which takes a lot of training and effort to build that back up. And so thank you so much for building that up and contributing to the success of this team. It, what are you excited for in the playoffs game? Really, all the trick plays we're going to run. Me going in motion when they say shift and going near this dude and blocking with him again. Yeah. Yes, I love that, Chuffy. And we are excited to see you go into gear and get into gear during those games. Thank you so much. Okay, so it's Jaquan, right? Yes, yeah, so Jaquan is very vibrant. So Jaquan, Jaquan, what grade are you in? I'm a 16 year old junior. 
You're a 16 year old junior. Why the emphasis on 16? Because some people look at me and think I'm 17, 18. Oh. I just turned 16. You just naturally stand out like that. Right, right. Awesome. So, Jaquan, what are you looking forward to in this next season? Or not even in this next season, in these upcoming games? Uh, Wins, honestly. Just scoring, doing our job, doing what we need to do, and hopefully we're going up more. Yes, yes. So, Jaquan, I just recently realized, so it might shock all of you guys that I'm not the biggest football fan in the world, but I did just learn that the offensive linemen are a huge part on how the other players are able to be the most efficient players. So we have a very impressive player this year, and that is Dietrich. Um, and are we all familiar with Dietrich? Yes, yes, go Dietrich. He has ran over a thousand plus yards in this over the seasons, and I learned that that is a great skill for Dietrich to have, but that's also a big win for the offensive lineman. So can you kind of explain to me what your role is as an offensive lineman for your other players to perform the best that they can play? If we don't do our jobs during pass block, ball can't get off. We can't get it to the receivers. That's why we have to do that so we can get deep touchdowns to like E. John or Dace or Jay Hunt. Watch out for Jay Hunt. He's up there. But uh, if we don't do open the gaps for runs, he that's why Dietrich has more than a thousand yards pushing. He's almost at the two thousand hit. But just him, Dave Shaw, getting up there, trying to give them the touchdowns. Yes, yes, I love that. Okay, we're coming back to you, Kendall. Are you ready? Yes. So, Kendall, the playoffs are right around the corner, coming up. What are you guys? really looking forward to as a team as a whole as a whole I think we're really looking forward to getting a chance to have this opportunity to go to playoffs and the expectation is we're gonna win and we're gonna run for a thousand yards but I think most of all we're really just excited and we're gonna enjoy the opportunity Yes, I love that. I love that. So one more question for all of the guys, and it'll be just one quick question. I'm going to go down the line, and I'm going to ask all of you guys, who inspired you guys to be the football players that you are today? Okay, Jaquan, I know you can handle it being on the spot, so we're coming to you. Uh, I would say Coach Loveless, D-Love, or uh, Coach Harrison. Grew up with both of them, honestly, but... Coach Lovis has been the hardest on me, but it's he knows us. He know and I know, so I love. Yes, I love that. Jeffy? Coach Harrison, man. When I make a bad play or my my steps aren't great, he's over there to talk me up and really he's a good coach. That's amazing. Coach Harrison. What about you, Kendall? It's it's gotta be Coach Harrison. I mean, he's the one that inspired me to play football. He's the one that kept me accountable while I was here, keeps me doing the right things. That's so good. I would probably have to say uh, Coach Loveless. He's always there keeping us accountable with the, his list. I love that, a list. <laughs> Again, probably Coach Harrison. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. And as we know, Rosario has that history with Coach Harrison and he p pulls you to the side. I love that. Shout out Coach Harrison. Caden? <laughs> For me, it would probably be my brother. He just pushes me hard every day and wants me to work hard every single day with school, football, just anything in life. Just pushes me really hard. I love that, Caden, and that's so good. good. Through your transfer seasons, you still have that stable brother, no matter what coach or whatever you have that to rely on. Um, and as you can see with these guys, they are the most respectful gentlemen. They all, all are calling me ma'am, which I personally love. And I am just so excited for this young offensive lineman group. We have more years ahead to watch these guys. And like they said, this is just the beginning. They are fun, a electric group and I encourage you guys to make it out to the playoff games if you can but also come out to more Shawnee high school football games in the future on their beautiful beautiful turf did the turf make a difference this year you guys yes, man. Yeah. Yeah. okay you guys we're gonna okay I say we call them out with the wolves on three is that what you say actually Kendall you call us out okay on three you guys wolves on me wolves on three one, two, three, one. Woo! Woo! Bye!